Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am doing an outfits video. Now that it's officially spring, I feel like it's the best time to show you guys some more spring outfits. I will link my last spring outfits video in the description box because that video did really well and you guys seem to really enjoy it. So I'll link it down below if you need any more inspo. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys 10 spring outfits. The weather is getting nicer. It's time to take off some of our winter layers. So I'm so excited to show you guys all the outfits that I come up with. Before I continue on with this video, for reference, I am 5 foot 8. I will link everything in the description box down below. So if you want to find out anything, I will leave it down there. All the links up there ready for you. And the last thing I'm going to say is, if you are brand new to my channel, subscribe. I'm Josephine and I love creating fashion content here on YouTube. These videos take so long to film and edit, so I would really appreciate it if you could just spare two seconds and like this video before we continue. It just really supports my channel out. And also, thank you so, so, so much for 30k. I just mind blowing so yeah thank you so 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 much for 30k yeah i'm gonna stop rambling let's crack on with this video so i've gone for a head to toe neutral look with this outfit so this jumper i picked up from h&m i am trying to think when i got this i got this autumn winter last year uh, it's like a wool blend jumper v-neck which is quite different for me i usually go for round neck and then for my jeans i've gone for these neutral jeans from Topshop. now i show <clears throat> now i talked about these more in my uh jeans collection video i'll link it in the description box or you can just go find it on my channel i love these jeans they are a straight fit jean and they're frayed at the bottom um they're pretty rigid but they have a little bit of stretch in them and then for my shoes i've gone for these mules these are quite new in from h&m and um, but yeah these are just like a nice neutral mule during spring summer you guys who have been here for a while will know that i just live in mules they're my favorite type of shoes i wear them for nights out for days out for shopping any occasion to wear mules of course there's no better bag to finish this look off than my cream ysl college i just i'm obsessed with this bag <laughs> if you are not into the mules then i would swap out the shoes for either a pair of neutral boots or white trainers like i've done and um, these trainers are from moda in pele and um, they are like the they're similar to the alexander mcqueen shoes and um, but yeah they're super comfy and yeah this is the outfit okay so this outfit is all about this gorgeous khaki green jumpsuit i just absolutely love this um so i got this in pr from super dry it's funny actually because my first ever um retail job was at super dry um i got that job when i was 16 so it's um cool to be able to work with a brand that you've previously worked with when you were younger but anyway yeah i absolutely love this jumpsuit it's in like this um khaki green color and the material i don't know if it's really going to pick up on camera but it's got a bit of a sheen to it which makes it look so expensive uh, it's really comfortable i picked it up in a uk 12 and it fits absolutely beautifully it's not like tight on my thighs or anything and then i've paired it with these with this tan bag and my zara mules these mules i've actually realized that um i had a look on the zara website the other day they had um a very similar version it's got a slightly different detail at the front they are essentially the same mules so i'll link those versions down below because obviously i live in england this outfit i would literally freeze to death so um i'm gonna pop on a blazer and show you guys how i would layer up this look so yeah i would pop on this white blazer during spring because it just adds a little bit of a layer but it still keeps the outfit looking really fresh and spring summery but it just keeps you um extra warm but yeah i really love this jumpsuit on its own but i also love it with the blazer okay so this is the next outfit so the main focus when it comes to this look is this trench coat and this is actually part of uh the hm spring collection i actually collaborated with h&m um for this collection over on my instagram honestly guys 
dream collaboration. <laughs> so this is quite an oversized trench coat. I got it in a size medium to large. Um, and I think I would have gone for a small, extra small, small because it's very, very oversized. And it's in this like linen-y material. It's made out of recycled materials. I absolutely love the sleeves on this um, trench coat. So it's got the black um, slash tortoise shell buttons it adds a little bit something but it's not too harsh because it's got that kind of brownie tinge to it did not really pick up on camera but yeah i just love this trench it is like how did i not have a white trench coat how um <laughs> and then and then um i decided to pair it with this top it's like a muscle tee style top this is also part of the same collection as the trench so it's made out of like sustainable materials and then i've paired it with these zara slouch jeans again i talk about them in my jeans collection video and then my shoes i've gone for my i've gone for my gucci prince town loafers so this is the look without the trench so it's very simple but then once you add the trench it's just it just takes you out from, from zero to a hundred okay so this is the next outfit now i'm sure you guys recognize this wrap dress because it's from pretty lavish and i showed it in my last outfits video you guys absolutely love that dress and i think i actually replied to one of you guys saying that i was eyeing up the cream version so yeah here we go i honestly can't decide which one i like more the cream version or the camely beige color but yeah this is absolutely beautiful now that the weather is getting warmer i can definitely wear this out you can wear this dress uh, dressed up or you can wear it quite casual like I am today. I have just popped it on with these June sandals, these tan sandals and then my cream YSL bag. Okay so I couldn't resist adding this pink dress from Zara which I recently picked up in my Zara haul. Now I love both pink dresses which I picked up and so do you guys because um the comments that i saw because the comments that i saw most frequently were people talking about i love the pink dress or the pink dress i love the fuchsia magenta pink dress as well like i said in that video i have a very similar dress um in that color and in that shape i don't know whether to keep that one i know i'm definitely keeping this one because it's so pretty but the other one i'm just not sure just because i have pretty much exactly the same dress already anyway so this is the zara pink dress isn't this just a spring summer dream and then i've popped it on with my uh mules but obviously right now it's too cold to wear it like this so i thought i would show you guys a couple of ways which i would layer it to make this dress a little bit more spring appropriate so the first way i would style it is with this white blazer this blazer is also from zara so yeah i would start it with this white blazer just because i love white and pink together and then it gives you a little bit more structure um and it kind of dresses up the dress a little bit more makes it look a little bit more sophisticated so yeah if you're not keen on the blazer then you could always just pop it on with a denim jacket and then i swapped it i swapped the bag for my brown bag to match my shoes and then the final way i'd wear it is with this trench coat so yeah i really like the way pink and camel tan brown looks together and i have kept the brown bag and i swapped out the mules for these flat brown sandals so yeah those are three ways that i would style this pink dress i've kind of given you like a mini styling video within a styling video hopefully me showing you three ways to wear this dress is helpful so for this next look i've gone for an all beige look so i have popped on this vest from h&m it's quite a long vest so it covers up my bum and stuff which i really really like and then i've popped on with these h&m trousers um they're like a jean trouser these trousers are quite cropped on me because i'm 5'8 and then i just popped on these mules from vici dolls because i feel like they're the most easy 
option they're just super comfy yeah and then for my bag i've also gone for this hobo style bag from Vichy doll this is very inspired by the Bottega Veneta bag i think it's like the jody bag but yeah part of me feels like the beige shoes make the outfit look a little bit too beige so if you if you're not keen on that then just break up the beige a little bit by adding a pair of tan sandals or black sandals or any other color that you'd like so yeah this is what the outfit looks like and of course if it's too cold to wear this outfit just pop on um, a trench coat so yeah i've just popped on this lightweight trench just to keep me extra warm this trench is from beachy dolls um i think it's still in stock but their stuff runs out so quick so it might not be but any trench coat will work okay so this is the next outfit so for this outfit i've actually popped on this sorry about all the dust in my mirror i've cleaned it about a million times I've cleaned this mirror about a million times and it just keeps showing dust i think because the sun is like reflecting but anyway just ignore that i tried <laughs> um but yeah so for this outfit i have popped on this midi dress from um so it's a knit midi dress it's so comfy i wear this around the house all the time because it makes me feel a lot more put together than if i was just gonna wear like a pair of joggers it's so comfy non-itchy and then i've gone for these zara mules and then i have popped on this trench coat i actually picked up this trench coat from george asda now if you're from the uk then you obviously know that uh, asda is a supermarket um but if you don't live in the uk asda is a supermarket uh, it's actually part of the walmart group so i literally got this trench coat from a supermarket it's absolutely just oh it is so expensive looking it's got really nice like structure so one side has like a flap here and then the other side doesn't which i really like that would normally bother me but it kind of adds to that like, expensiveness to it it feels like it's been designed and someone has specifically thought about this trench coat so yeah it's like a faux leather trench and yeah this is the outfit okay so this is the next outfit so this outfit is mainly about this gorgeous trench coat which i got from topshop it's like a beige color blue with blue the blue lines running throughout and then it's got this blue interior like wow <laughs> underneath the trench i'm wearing this long bodysuit from feature dolls um it's super soft and then my jeans i mean do i need to talk about these jeans if you know which i'm sure a lot of you guys do know then you know <laughs> and then as you can see i've popped on the trench again and i've gone for my cream ysl bag honestly guys this bag oh it's just i feel like it's one of the best things i have ever bought because it just goes with my entire wardrobe so yeah this is the outfit very it's a great everyday outfit that i would definitely wear even now um because the weather is starting to warm up just a little bit this is the next outfit so this is more of a dressy outfit that i'd wear for like a meal out um drinks or something like that and for this outfit i've gone for this crochet style dress which is also from pretty lavish as you can see it has this really pretty crochet style and then on top of that just to dress the whole outfit up i popped on this faux leather blazer which i picked up from zara last year i always forget that i've got this blazer it's such a classic style um i absolutely love this blazer but i do always forget that i've even got it and then i have popped it on with these brown suede boots from zara um yeah these are quite old so i won't be able to link the exact pair i thought i'd also show you guys how i'd wear this outfit without the blazer so um i just popped on a tan bag and i popped on these little kind of like kitten heel mules from stradivarius they're very bottega veneta inspired 
I got these last year, so unfortunately they won't be available anymore. So yeah, you can see how versatile this dress really is. So this next look is all about this pink blazer, which again, I got last year. So yeah, I picked up this blazer last year from Topshop. It's just such a beautiful light pink blazer. It's quite lightweight and airy, um, super comfortable, not rigid, very, it's a very relaxed fit. And then I have paired it with a white t-shirt and then these mom jeans from Sarah, which again, I, I've talked more about in my jeans collection video. So um, I'll link both the blazer collection video and my jeans video down below. For my shoes, I've gone for these June Lupe sandals. I think that's what they're called. They bring these out pretty much every year. I'm sure they'll bring them out this year. They are like, they're like a dupe of the Hermes uh, Oran sandals. And then to match the shoes, I've gone for this tan brown bag from Polen. I just love this bag. So yeah, this is the next outfit so for this outfit i have popped on my vintage burberry um trench coat it's a men's one so it is a bit big on the shoulders um but i just love the kind of oversized relaxed feel to it and then underneath i have just popped on a just simple white shirt um, I've got all of my gold jewellery, which I love. This one, yeah, got all my gold jewellery, which I love. And then I've gone for my um, Zara slouch jeans. These are not available, but I found some very similar alternatives, which I'll link. Um, I showed them in my recent Zara haul. And then um, I've gone for black sandals, just simple black sandals. I got these from June and then I have popped on my um, Burberry banner bag in the small size. This whole outfit just reminds me of the 90s and honestly it's one of my favourite um, fashion decades. I just feel like style so effortless and just casual and I'm all, all for it. So yeah guys, I just realised that I completely forgot to film the outro, so I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this outfits video, let me know which outfit is your favourite, and yeah, we'll chat in the comment section down below. Bye!